I've been asked that question and I find it um, not only difficult to answer but unfair to answer for the simple reason that I doubt if you can brag about something huge and great in your first 100 days alone. Second, what you should be doing on the first, you should be doing until the last day. Third, we are in the process of all establishing timelines for certain things. But I'll show you how difficult it is to answer the question. Read the government of corruption. Um, can you put a 100-day a deadline on that? You can say, within the first 100 days, we will issue this EO. But yeah, better to actually achieve eradication of corruption? No. You can say we will prioritize education. But remember, on June, on June 30, you're operating on the budget that GMA prepared for 2010. You will be filing your own kung handa ka, 2011 pa. Kasi yung budget call ng gobyerno, February to March. Yung ginawang, D, yung ginawang budget ng DBM for submission to Congress, ginawa pa ng mga tao ng GMA lahat yan. So, effectively, you'll be able to have your own budget in 20... na ikaw talaga? 2012. So, ano na lang yung top three na gagawin nyo na? Um, top three to five. But, so, una-una mong gagawin. Never, never mind the time. Pero yung However, bigger or small. Sorry? However, bigger or small. Yeah. Ano yung top three? Top three to five. Can, it, can one be in the negative? One. President appoints approximately 10,000 people to office. When he assumes. Kaya 10,000 campaigners can actually land a good job in government after their candidate wins. That should be stopped. The president should limit appointments to at least or at most 10% of that, or only 1,000, to include some major departments. Meaning, ang co-terminus ng dapat sa'yo, finance, defense, DILG, DFA, uh, all the rest, theoretically, should be created. Para may continuity yung programa ng GBL. So it will be negative, not in the positive or <coughs> Two, if we run. As I said, we're doing it via a GAA. Within the first 100 days, you will operationalize the budget you prepared. So that you won't have a two-year delay. The budget of 2011 to be implemented will be your budget, not the budget of GMA prepared. Hopefully, you can submit the budget by end of July, by the time the SONA is delivered. If you are ready now with it, you can easily meet the timetable. If you are not, because you're too busy campaigning, then most likely you will use GMA's budget for 2011. Three, um, we will institutionalize a mechanism doing two things. One, getting information. Hindi naman big brother, pero mga untouchables para malaman kung ba talaga ang ginagawa ng mga official ng gobyerno lalo na yung mga may duda kang magnanakaw. Sa totoo lang, kung may magnanakaw na official, ang galing mahuli yun. Tignan mo lang yung otang ginagawa niya, tignan mo lang kung saan siya umuwi. Sundan mo lang yung isang linggo yan, kaya mo nang malaman siguro eh. And two, to get information regarding those things and to, to be able to weed through the functions of government. An objective is identifying areas of discretion. Um, it can be done in the first 30 days actually. For me, in my book, discretion equals corruption. Minimize discretion, you minimize corruption, eliminate discretion, you eliminate corruption. We cannot eliminate discretion in every aspect of government. But if you can limit it, mas po konti lang yung babantayan mo. At sana, limit mo particular doon sa revenue generating agencies natin. Para may pera tayong gawin kung ano kailangan gawin para sa mesa. Those three things. Sa termino mo kaya, uh, meron kayong makukulong na big fish? <laughs> um, <laughs> the best guarantee that can be given is no big or small fish will be protected. Or should be protected by the next president. Let's talk about Jamie. Is it the job of the next president? Let's ask the bar taker. <laughs> ano ang papel ng presidente sa pag-prosecute 
ng former president, GMA for example. What role will, 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 will he play or she play in ensuring that justice is done as regards GMA's acts? Ano ba pilang presidente? If you want to be strict about it. Execute the law, meaning pag binarasahan ay pagulong. Pag inutos ng judge na huli yan, huli yan. It's not the job of the next president to file a case against her. Unless mag-BPCGG ka. Unless that's what you want to do. Is that included in the platform of any of the presidents? I don't know. It's not in mind. Hindi ako magtatayo ng prosecutorial, hindi dapat magtayo ng prosecutorial arm. Simply for the purpose of running after all officials of this government. You're short-circuiting the system again. There's an institutional approach to it. Libre magsamba ng kaso kahit sino. Ang dapat na trabaho ng gobyerno, buksan yung gobyerno for any information and documents that might be necessary. For all. To prosecute or to defend. Let someone file a case. Don't hinder it. Huwag mong pigilan. Let the ombudsman do its job. Huwag mong tawagan. Let the sandigan bahay do its job. Huwag mong tawagan. Huwag mong pangakuha na chip na justice ka pag kinumbig mo to. What do you want the next person to do? Ako. Mas malaw kay Gloria. Tingin ko, she should remain accountable for actions. Pero may din siguro tayo gano'n. I feel the same. I feel everybody. Pero, what do you want the next president to do? Do you expect the next president to call up the ombudsman and say, Mercy, isampa mo itong kasong to, ha? It could be the same thing. Pag ito, hindi mo sinampa. Or talaga mo yung justice ng sandingan ba yan? I-file niyo yung kaso, ha? Iso kayo ng wire ka para sa tagat. There's a very thin line dividing that, even if you all want that, if you someone do. And calling the ombudsman ng sandingan ba yan for a friend. For a relative, for an ally, for a party mate. Huwag mong i-file, ha? So, in theory, the next president, it's not the job of the next president to catch a big fish, technically. To gather evidence, yes. To know what's going on, yes. To make records available, yes. But to prosecute, try, and put in jail, the courts. Sorry, as a lawyer, masyado na nababoy yung profession ko. Ayaw akong dagdagan yun kung mabibigyan ako ng pagkakataon. Whether we agree with the decision or not, we have to live with it. Otherwise, otherwise chaos will be the alternative.